Thank you, Madam Chair. It's an honor to present to this committee. Um, this uh, bill is about the American Disabilities Act, and uh, as Madam Chair, you stated earlier, this, uh, this is to address a matter of fairness. Uh, so for those who uh, are disabled and also for those who are operating businesses, uh, just two weeks ago, uh, the San Jose Mercury News had two excellent articles uh, by a reporter by the name of Matthias uh, Gaffney uh, on the ADA lawsuit uh, abuse topic. Uh, they, they, they told of a nightmare uh, for two business owners that, uh, uh, that they faced with uh, ADA concerns. One was Samir Misson, who made a $300 fix to his gas station, and then he received a $25,000 demand settlement from an attorney, uh, the owner of an organization known as Disabled Access Prevents Injury, Inc. Uh, this attorney filed, has filed thousands of ADA lawsuits across Northern California. In fact, he had staff that had quotas that had to drive around towns to just find places to, to litigate at, that were targets. Uh, one legal expert in the article summarized that these cases are all about attorney fees, not about ADA. The Orange County Register had a headline in its business section that read, ADA suits a drain on businesses. Colleagues, the date of this article was March 15, 2000, 16 years ago. Uh, this issue is still here after all this time, and we still have what I would consider legalized extortion. Uh, it was one of my earliest constituent contacts where Someone called and said, or contacted me and said, you know, we, the business next door just got a high demand letter, and can we, uh, what can you do to help out? So we all know that ADA is critical, but it should not be a vehicle for intimidation and personal gain. If a business is deficient in ADA requirements, then please give the owner a right to cure. Let the business fix the issue uh, within at least 120 days. Let these small business owners, the, the mom and pop shops, correct any and all non-compliances. And when there is a conflict between the federal rule and the California rule, uh, we're, we're requesting that the federal rule preempt the California rule. Suits are filed for bathroom mirrors being one and a half inches too high, or that the business had the wrong shape for the handicap sign on the bathroom door. Uh, we've seen handicapped parking space signs being uh, the wrong shade of blue. We've had faded paint for parking lot stalls. Um, and thanks to the Unruh Civil Rights Act, plaintiffs are entitled to a minimum of damages that can start as high as $4,000 per violation, triple the damages, and may be awarded attorney's fees, all for a $10 mirror fix. What's the point of compliance law if you can't afford to fix the compliance? You've got to be stuck paying demand letters as opposed to fixing the problem to help people access your business. Also, with the California version of the ADA, which is called the Construction Related Accessibility Standard, Standards Compliance Act, there may be differences. Thus, there should be a default and it should be the federal version. Let's help our disabled population. Let's help our small businesses. I'm honored to have many reputable organizations in support. I've been surprised with uh, how many have contacted my office in support of this bill. And, even received nice editorial support.